Hi, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Alex Xiao Yang. I'm the president of uh, Vancouver Business Network Forum. Today, it's my pleasure to be able to interview uh, with the Consul General of Vietnam, Mr. Phan Man Hai. Yeah, uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you very so much for coming. Today, we would like to uh, ask you a few questions and let you uh, talk to our audience about uh, how we invest uh, in Vietnam and the conditions, uh, uh, advantages, and what we can do in Vietnam. Yes, okay. It's my pleasure. Okay, yeah, so thank I'm gonna, you very much. I'm going to leave the camera to you. Okay. okay. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to give me a chance to uh, talk about the uh, uh, investment in uh, Vietnam. Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, to do business in Vietnam first, uh, you should know in general uh, some, you know, information uh, concerning the uh, economic development in Vietnam. Yeah. As you know, Vietnam <coughs> has a very favorable uh, geographical position. Uh, it, uh, it is situated in the uh, center of East Asia and uh, uh, among the many major and dynamic economies. Uh, Vietnam <coughs> uh, has a very stable uh, social political environment uh, and uh, dynamic economic growth uh, in the region. Uh, and uh, you may know that Vietnam has a uh, rather big uh, population uh, is uh, about uh, 92 million people and we have the advantage of uh, uh, abundant uh, young labor force with 60% uh, of the population are in the working age in, in, in the labor age and uh, our economy has been developing uh, stably. Uh, the per capita GDP growth since uh, 1990 has been among the fastest in the world, uh, average, averaging 5.5% uh, uh, a year uh, since 1990, and 6.4% during the years of 2000s and uh, last year uh, 2015 Vietnam economy continued to strengthen and uh, the GDP growth uh, reached 6.68 uh, percent that's very high and the uh, average uh, trade volume is about 300 billion US dollar per year and the average inflation rate is uh, roughly 5.5 uh, percent and it also was very low uh, in uh, 2015 it's uh, only 0 0.63 percent you know, inflation and besides of that we uh, also have uh, signed uh, many free trade agreement with uh, other countries. Uh, we call FTA with other countries, uh, including the uh, Trans-Pacific uh, Partnership Agreement, TPP. Uh, and we are now also trying to negotiate for more, several more FTAs. Uh, other countries in the world. And uh, <coughs> first about the, uh, the, 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 the trade uh, of Vietnam. Uh, so we import uh, mainly the machinery and the spare parts uh, 
electronics, computers, spare parts and spare part, uh, fabric, uh, telephones and spare part, uh, petroleum, steel, plastics. That's the the, the main goods of uh, import. And the uh, import turnover was. Uh, uh, Oh, 166 uh, billion US dollars uh, last year and uh, China is uh, the, the largest market uh, of import uh, of Vietnam's import and it's uh, increasing uh, every year uh, followed by uh, South Korea, uh, ASEAN countries and Japan. Uh, about the exports of Vietnam, so in uh, 2015, uh, last year, the export turnover was uh, 162, around 162 billion. That means we 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 export uh, lower than import, uh, so we we have uh, deficit in import and. <coughs> The main products of uh, exports uh, are telephones, spare parts, uh, textile, garment and textiles, uh, electronic, computer, and spare parts, uh, footwear, uh, seafood, and other machinery and equipment, and also some crude oil. You know, we have uh, also uh, explore it, it, some. Uh, oil in the uh, southern sea, in the inner sea. <coughs> and uh, the market for export uh, of Vietnamese uh, products uh, uh, mainly the United States. The, the, the largest uh, market, no, export market of Vietnam, and then the uh, uh, EU, EU, I mean the EU, the, the uh, European uh, Union, uh, the second largest, uh, and other countries, <coughs> and. Uh, sectors contribute to the GDP of Vietnam is uh, the first one is the service sector is uh, contribute the, the largest uh, portion to the GDP and then uh, industrial construction sectors rank second and followed by uh, agriculture as uh, contribute to our GDP That is uh, the, the general information about the, the economic development uh, information of Vietnam. And uh, now I would like to turn to the uh, foreign uh, direct investment that we call the FDI uh, to Vietnam. As you know, uh, uh, foreign direct investment has been uh, flourishing in Vietnam in recent years, both in terms of uh, generic uh, registered and dispersed capital. The total uh, registered cap investment capital is uh, accumulated by almost uh, 300 billion US dollars. And the uh, Disbursement is about 150 billion US dollar. The main sectors uh, for the foreign investment are the manufacturing and processing industry, uh, the real estate business, uh, construction, electricity, and other 
like agriculture, forestry, fishery, logistics, etc. <coughs> and uh, the the countries who have a major investment in Vietnam uh, until uh, June this year. Uh, first is uh, South Korea. South Korea. They, they have more than uh, 48 billion US dollars in South Korea. And uh, second is uh, Japan, 40 billion. Uh, then Singapore, 38 billion. US dollar. Then Taiwan, 32 billion. America, 11 billion. And China, also the same, 11 billion US dollars. That's the, that's the, 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 the main country that uh, have uh, in, uh, investment in Vietnam. And uh, since, since uh, we owe opening up our economy to foreign investment uh, in the late uh, 1980. <coughs> uh, Vietnam has uh, experienced significant improvement in living standards and the economy also growing and foreign investment is uh, considered a vital resource for the de development and uh, the government of Vietnam has taken many efforts to improve the investment in, uh, environment and attract more foreign capital inflows. <coughs> and in particular, uh, Vietnam has been in uh, direct uh, integra uh, integration uh, efforts with uh, more than 55 uh, economies in the world uh, with over 90% of tariff lies uh, to be re reduced to 0% uh, if we try the, the, the FTA and uh, the World Trade Organization, WTO and uh, and, and, and later will be TPP, yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that is considered a very, you know, significant advantage for foreign investors in Vietnam. And uh, if we would like to invest in Vietnam, so uh, there are opportunities in uh, the following sectors. Now, we encourage investment in high-tech agriculture and agricultural products processing industry. Uh, second is um, high-tech sector in information technology, uh, space technology, biotechnology technology, and new materials. And then other uh, will be the construction uh, of transportation infrastructure. Especially we are promoting forms of public-private partnership, PPP, uh, in infrastructure construction in rural areas. Other industries like uh, sporting industries for manufacturing sector uh, in the uh, automobile industry, motorcycle, uh, engineering, textile, footwear, good processing, etc. And uh, in the service sector, especially in the business uh, service industry with uh, high quality and high value added uh, service. And uh, the government of Vietnam has a very strong determination and has been continuously improving the business and investment environment with the aim to attract 
more uh, foreign investment to Vietnam. Uh, from uh, the year 2014 to 2016, the government has carried out many measures to improve the business environment and enhance the national com competitiveness. And Vietnam has amended uh, the law on investment and the law on enterprises, the law on housing, uh, all effective uh, by uh, last year, uh, 2015, in order to facilitate more transparent business for investors at home and abroad. So, uh, to do a business in Vietnam, so these, uh, these uh, three uh, mentioned laws are very, very important, especially the law on investment and the law on enterprises and the law on housing. All the uh, investor, foreign investor, uh, pay very much the, uh, attention and concern uh, about this uh, uh, legal uh, uh, status. <coughs> and uh, a bit uh, more specific for the uh, for the uh, foreign uh, investment in Vietnam, as I uh, mentioned about the law on enterprises uh, provides four types of legal forms of cooperation for business entity. Uh, first is a, a limited uh, liability company called LLC. Uh, second is a joint stock company, uh, GSC and the sole proprietorship and then partnership. Uh, also, a foreign entity may establish its presence in Vietnam as a limited liability company with one or more members, uh, a joint stock company, a partnership, or set up a branch a business cooperation contract or a rep office in Vietnam. And uh, foreign investors are also permitted to purchase an interest in existing domestic enterprises uh, subject to the ownership uh, limitation uh, verified uh, on the law of uh, investment and law on enterprises. <coughs> and uh, so what are the common forms of investment in Vietnam uh, based on the uh, law of, uh, on investment? Uh, there are uh, some forms of investment for foreign investor. Uh, namely, here it may be uh, first is uh, the establishment of a wholly foreign owned economy uh, organization. That's uh, that's that's uh, foreign owned uh, company. And second, established uh, establishment and uh, implementation implementation of investment activities through a joint venture with the uh, Vietnamese partner, etc. <coughs> then, uh, investment in the form of capital contribution or purchase of share and portion of capital. And then, investment in the form of uh, PPP public-private uh, partnership, as I mentioned above, and uh, BCC, that's uh, uh, also mentioned above. The, uh, <coughs> uh, 
and um, the uh, foreign investor can uh, participate in uh, other kinds of uh, activities like uh, BOT projects, that's uh, build, operate, transfer, that's called BOT projects, uh, BT projects, or BTO contacts, etc. It's very, very, very open uh, in, in Vietnam. And uh, concerning uh, other matters uh, like uh, the uh, taxation uh, system, foreign investor also should know about the system of taxation. So uh, normally uh, uh, foreign investors are likely to be subject to the following, uh, following common taxes like uh, corporate income tax, uh, value added tax, personal income tax, and foreign constructor tax and and other uh, it, uh, vary uh, from the project by or, or investments uh, such like uh, special service tax, environment tax, import export duties, uh, natural natural resource tax, environmental tax, etc. Many many uh, kind of tax. But it varies from what kind of investment. Uh, and and but 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 the Vietnamese uh, government and uh, uh, some provincial uh, authorities, they also uh, have uh, some investment incentives uh, for 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 foreign. Investor, it may include the uh, uh, a brief preferential uh, corporate income tax rates for the whole duration of the project operation, or for a certain li limit period uh, starting of the commencement of operation, or uh, the uh, corporate income tax exemption or holidays from two, four, two to four years from the first profit making uh, year or some certain 50% of tax reduction from four to nine years um, and maybe other incentives like uh, exemption from the uh, exemption or reduction of the land, land rent, land lease yeah, fee, and uh, land use fees and land use tax, and uh, maybe in some place uh, uh, the, the the government can assist, uh, can have assistance with uh, cost of uh, site clearance for the investor. Uh, the government will bear the, all the costs of site clearance, uh, relocation, and auxiliary infrastructure uh, construction for investor, in in uh, especially in uh, PPP projects. So um, it will have to attract uh, more foreign investor in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, there are also conditions, uh, some conditions for, uh, for, 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 for the foreign uh, investment project to, to have uh, such uh, the above uh, uh, incentive from uh, the government. So through all the information about uh, 
I would like to uh, uh, summarize uh, that uh, summarize uh, that the, the 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 in general the foreign uh, uh, investment in Vietnam is now booming in Vietnam in comparison of uh, uh, the whole region and uh, I give you some reasons why you should consider and invest in Vietnam. <coughs> First, uh, Vietnam has a very high economic growth and we have uh, stable politics and we have uh, the global economic integration. Uh, we have a uh, strategic uh, location. Uh, we have a uh, competitive human resource. Uh, we have uh, open policy with uh, high investment incentives. And we have a uh, competitive uh, production cost. And also, we uh, have been uh, improving uh, our infrastructure. So uh, that's uh, the main uh, reasons, or you may say the main, main favorable conditions for uh, foreign investor in Vietnam. <coughs> Yeah, so uh, now if you, uh, from all the uh, above information, uh, of course, uh, due to the limit of time, I cannot uh, uh, tell you all about uh, everything uh, concerning the, uh, the, the, the doing business in Vietnam. Uh, but uh, we, the uh, Consulate General of Vietnam here, will be very happy to uh, assist you to get uh, more information if you have uh, any uh, requirement. Uh, and uh, the first contact, if you would like to to, 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 to get information and, 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 and prepare for uh, uh, investment in Vietnam. So please contact with our Consulate General uh, in Vancouver and I will give you all the uh, official names and contacts uh, number of the Consulate General. Thank you very much.